guys um i just wanted to make re-upload a video of me cleaning my brushes because i did have a video before uploaded and um i deleted it because i just didn't like it <laughs> so now i'm gonna just show you guys me washing my brushes and stuff like that these are all my dirty brushes um, my Sigma brushes, the ones that are crap, but you know, these are the only brushes I have. The foundation one, I, like I said, I love this one, but um, it's about to fall apart. But all these dirty brushes that I have, and I'm going to clean them for you today. So if you want to see how I clean my brushes, just keep watching. Hey guys, hopefully you can see, you know, the plate and everything. Um, Alright, so what I have in this plate is some dish detergent. Um, anything that says antibacterial is great for the brushes, for any bacteria in the brush. And then also I mixed it with some EVOO, which is extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just going to, let me just move it around so the, the olive oil can mix into that liquid. Then I'm just going to stipple the stippling brush in there and I'm going to go back and forth in my hand the palm of my hand like this make sure you don't press it down like this or go like this because it's going to damage the brush for any of your brushes just make sure you go back and forth as if you were cleaning like if you're a painter and you clean your paint brushes the same technique so go back and forth okay, guys, so now what I'm gonna do is turn on this paint with some lukewarm water. You don't want it to be too hot or too cold. Okay. Then I'm just going to take some like that and go. Make sure the water doesn't get into the handle of the brush because it's going to loosen it up. first brush as you can see how clean it is yeah basically do the same thing back and forth on the palm of your hand what the um, extra virgin olive oil does to the brush is um, it keeps the hairs really nice and um moisturized so it's really good for the hairs of your brush and then of course as you all know the liquid um cleans the bacteria off of the brush again and repeat the same thing lukewarm water make sure there's no water getting into the handle so you want to go like this i hope you guys can see because like i said i can't see what i'm doing and this technique is very inexpensive, not a lot of money. You probably have this in your cook kit at home. Um, you don't got to spend a lot of money on it, and it works wonders. It takes off all the dirt, all the bacteria, everything off of your brushes. Alright, so I'm going to squeeze that out. That. If you see any soap still coming out when you're squeezing it, then you need to continue washing it out. Okay, so it's good now. And you guys see that? Right, nice so and I'm clean. I'm going to continue washing my brushes and I will be right back to show you guys how I lay them out Hey guys, dry. so this is how I lay my brushes out. Um, I just like laying them flat because that way, you know, the water doesn't fall into the handle and gets out of place. But you already know about these Sigma brushes. Um... But brushes like my e.l.f. ones, I try to make sure, especially my e.l.f. ones because they're such great brushes, I try to make sure that they're flat. And also what I forgot to show you guys, what I like to do also after I'm done washing it using the um, the dish liquid and the EVOO technique, I like also applying the MAC brush cleanser afterwards, I don't know, just to make it feel extra clean. Um, so yeah, I watch my brushes personally. 
I wash them like once every week, like deep clean them, which I don't think, I think that's too much, but I like doing that. I think you're supposed to deep clean them, clean them like twice a month, I'm not sure. But um, like the MAC brush cleanser is great for spot cleaning your brushes. Um, I always spot clean my brush when I'm about to apply a new eyeshadow. I spot clean them, you know, in between and things like that. So it's always good to spot clean your brushes, like, whenever you want to. But I clean mines, I deep clean mines, like, every, every, once every week. Um, so yeah, so I like cleaning them flat on top of this paper towel. And then, also I like to put, apply another paper towel on top of all the brushes. Um, that way they're protected from any bacteria falling onto them and you know from them collecting any bacteria and things like that so that's it you guys hopefully this helped you i had to re-upload this video because in my other video it was too too dark when i was cleaning my brushes so now i got better lighting in the kitchen so um i decided to re-upload it hopefully this is helpful for you guys i'm not a professional at cleaning brushes but i just decided to upload this video showing you guys how i clean my brushes and hopefully this helps some of you guys and hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching guys bye